recovery efforts continue when counties and cities hit hardest by last week's tornadoes. In Griffin, more than a thousand people still don't have power tonight, and the storm left hundreds without homes. Yeah, 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peter was with volunteers today as they offered some desperately needed help. We're out here in a neighborhood just north of downtown Griffin, where volunteers continue to show out with food, water and supplies going door to door. Behind us is actually a group that came all the way from Woodstock, a church group that's been out here cooking out for volunteers as well as residents. You guys hungry? Okay. We got a team together, about 50 people came down. We're in three different locations right now um, just to help out. An outpouring of support in Griffin. I have no idea who that guy is but he's climbing a tree right now to clear somebody's yard that he doesn't know who they are. It's just, it feels great. As volunteers from across Metro Atlanta distributed supplies just days after a tornado touched down here. You can take pictures of what you can see, but what can't you see? That's what bothers me. It was neighborly love that drew so many of them to help. Why are you here today? For the same reason these great folks all came to Noonan two years ago coming March uh, to help us recover from the tornado that hit Noonan. In the days since the storm, big corporations like Home Depot, Chick-fil-A and Coca-Cola have stepped up to donate food and water with nearby church groups and nonprofits also offering assistance. It is just this tsunami of love and appreciation. Griffin's mayor showed up at the city's makeshift distribution and donation site off Solomon Street today to thank the many volunteers who have traveled miles to help. There are people from all over the southeast here in Griffin and Spalding County making a difference. Red Cross is also out here. They've set up a shelter at First Methodist Church. They've also set up a food supply there for anyone who needs it. For more details on that and how else you can help out, head on over to our website. In Griffin, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News. And with all of the damage there, Griffin Spalding County Schools will be closed until Thursday. And take a look at this video. This is new in tonight, showing the damage just two blocks away from Griffin High School. You can see all of those trees knocked out, some of them hitting power lines, and the district says crews are still restoring power and cleaning up some of this damage. And we just learned a disaster relief shelter is now open in Henry County for residents in need of help. So listen up. The Locust Grove Recreation Center on Cleveland Street is now open with the help of the American Red Cross. There's going to be showers there, bathrooms, washers, dryers, wireless internet and charging stations. And the Salvation Army also has a mobile kitchen set up for the Indian Creek mobile home community. They're providing up to two meals a day for people without power. We have all the information you need at 11alive.com.